Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing the quickest, easiest makeup look. It's so easy. Everyone can do this. We're not using foundation today, which was kind of unintentional, um, but no foundation, no powder, and we're doing some faux freckles and just keeping it very warm, glowy, bronzy, fresh, all those great things. So this is a look that I came up with today and I don't know why I don't play with faux freckles more often. They're so fun, they're so easy, and I just think they add such a unique element to your makeup look that doesn't take too much more time. So this is the look we're doing today. So make sure you grab something to drink, grab a snack as always. And I always forget to say this, but I'm gonna make a point to say this from now on. But some really quick and easy free ways that you can help support me. Like this video, leave it a comment, let me know uh, what you're doing today, what you're doing this week, something you're grateful for. And if you're not already subscribed but you like my videos, you enjoy watching my videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out and it's just a simple, easy way for you to support me. So if you feel so inclined, I would greatly appreciate it. But grab your drink, grab a snack, and let's get into it. All right, so to start off this look, since we're wanting that very warm, bronzy skin, I thought this was the perfect product. This is the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur Skin Tone Optimizer. Um, I haven't used this in quite a while. I, I used to use this all the time, um, but I'm not really sure what this is. I don't know if it's like a, a, a bronzing, like just kind of give your skin a little bit of color, or if it's actually like a foundation, or if it's a highlighter. It's kind of like one of those products where you can use it in a variety of different ways. So what I've done in the past is I've actually used this as my foundation. Um, I have it in the shade Medium Latte, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. The, the shades on these are kind of funny, but I'll have the exact one that I use linked below. And I really like this. I'll show you what it kind of looks like. I feel like this is very similar to like a Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter, something kind of similar to the new Auric kind of glow products. So it's got a nice bit of glow to it. Excuse my uh, self-tanner hands. Um, but it's also got some coverage to it, like a little bit of a tint to it. So I'm gonna take a little bit more. I'm just gonna put this in my hands. And I'm gonna apply this all over my skin and I may use this, this as my foundation. I'm not 100% sure. My skin is looking pretty good right now. And I do have a fresh layer of self-tanner on, so I feel like I don't need a ton of coverage. But yeah, this definitely gives the skin a little bit of tint and some glow. I'm going to take one more pump and just kind of layer this up because I think I'm going to skip foundation altogether and just use this as my base. Wow, that's really pretty. I haven't used this in a while. And I actually used to mix this in with my sunscreen to kind of get rid of the white cast, but it's really pretty on its own. I think I'm just gonna leave my skin like this. I do want to add a little bit more coverage in certain areas. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. camo concealer. Um, I have the shades medium beige and medium neutral. I'm gonna start with medium beige. And I'm just going to spot conceal. Alright, and I'm going to use my favorite Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. And just blend that out. Alright, and I actually meant to do this step before I did concealer, but I'm going to go and do it now. This is the Manasi 7 Bronze Lighter in the shade Rosite. I'm just going to take that same brush and just... Apply that kind of to the areas where I would apply highlighter. I like this one because it's got a nice bronzier tone to it. So it just looks a little bit more natural on my skin tone. So now I'm going to go in with bronzer. I'm going to use my Danessa Myricks Balm Contour. I'm going to use the same brush. I'm just going to keep it real simple. 
Ooh, since I self-tanned, this shade is not showing up as much as it was before, but this looks a little more natural now. And I'm using the shade Light 2. And then I'm actually going to skip powder today because that e.l.f. concealer is so matte and I feel like my skin is just already pretty set and good. I don't need to set it down. So I'm going to do a little bit of blush and I thought I would pull out my Aether Amber Cheek Palette. Um, it's a nice warm, kind of got two blushes and a highlighter. I'm just going to use the blushes today, but it's got some nice warmth to it. So I think it'll be perfect for this. So I'm just going to take a mixture of... Balance and Manifestation, and just pop that right on the cheeks. Take a little bit up on the forehead too, so it looks like we got some sun, and then some on the nose as well. Wow, this is so pretty. I like everything I'm using today. I was not expecting to use this as my foundation today. I was just going to kind of use it to give my skin some glow, but I actually like this by itself very natural just looks like i've been at the beach all right so i'm gonna do a quick brow nothing too crazy because this is a pretty natural look so i'm gonna use my honest beauty brow pencil in the shade brown and just very lightly fill in the gaps but i'm gonna keep my brows really really natural i don't want to overfill them and then, I think I'm just going to keep it easy today. I'm going to do a little soap. Just spray that down. Rub my spoolie in it. Alright, so I don't have an actual freckle product. So, I'm going to try and use my Danessa Myricks Color Fix matte in the shade exposed um, it's just like a nice on me it's kind of like a contour shade which I think will be perfect for freckles so I'm going to apply this to the back of my hand first I need to get one of her palettes to work off of because these stain the hands and they don't come off I need to get one of her little she's got like a ring palette and then she's got like a hand palette and then I'm going to use this silicone liner brush from Real Techniques I'm just going to dip into this. I have not tried this before, so we'll kind of experiment together. I might need to change brushes too. I don't know how this brush is going to work, but we'll just see. And I already have quite a few freckles, so I'm just going to use those as my guide and kind of fill those in first. And then I'll go in and add you know, extra ones. So I'm just going to go over the freckles I already have. And then as I go, I'm just going to press my finger just right on top to kind of pick up any excess product and make them look a little bit more natural. Alright, so I will say this brush is working great. And the color fix is working great. It's very, very natural. And the great thing is she has so many shades of these. Everyone should be able to find a shade that works well for them. I think she actually just came out with a whole nude range, which is so perfect. Um, and they're all kind of like skin tone shades. So everyone should be able to find a shade that works well for freckles. But these look really nice. They're very natural looking. Very soft and if you have any blemishes you can use this to hide a blemish I mean well I don't know why I don't do freckles more often they're so fun and they just add such a unique look to your face and the great thing about these color fixes is that they dry down completely matte so um, you shouldn't have any issues with them sliding around or transferring or if you are oily or are sweating I don't feel like you would have any issues with these because they dry down and do not budge. And then while I still have this on my hand, I'm going to use the same brush. And I'm just going to take this and line my lash line. 
just to define the lashes a little bit. I'm going to get all the way across. And I'm going to wing it out just slightly. Alright, and then for mascara, I'm going to use my Honest Beauty mascara. I left my Bite mascara downstairs in my bathroom. So I'm going to use this one, but I really like this one. It's definitely my favorite drugstore mascara. So while my, mas my mascara dries, I'm going to do a little lip. Kind of remove some of my balm. So I'm just the type of person I need to wear lip liner all the time. I just love lip liner. It's super quick and easy for me to apply. So you can skip this step if you want to keep it super easy. But I'm just going to take Elegant by Mineral Fusion. Sorry if you guys can't see. And then I'm going to take my Lip Whip in the shade Georgia. Just kind of press it into my lips. These are super comfortable, very moisturizing, amazing, amazing balms. My favorite is just their classic peppermint, peppermint tinted Lip Whip. I think it's the one that's like a light pink color. I love that one. That one's my absolute favorite. But these tinted ones are really fun to play with. All right, guys. So that is it. Super quick, easy, fresh, bronzy, glowy, all my favorite things. And I've just been seeing everyone doing faux freckles lately. And I just need to do them more. They're so fun. They're so cute. And they just add a little bit of something unique to your face. That's super quick and easy. You don't have to have a freckle product. Try and use like an eyeliner or a brow pencil, or if you have these color fixes, um, the matte ones, try that. This worked amazing, amazing, and these don't budge. So I don't have to worry about like my kids touch my face or if I touch my face or whatever. Um, they shouldn't move around. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's always a blessing to sit here and create content for y'all and just hang out and chat and chill. So thank you. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.